brings your referee in charge of the action, Thomas Taylor. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks trimmed in white and black, he weighed in 165 and one half pounds. His professional record, two victories, three defeats with one win coming by way of knockout from Chelly Cove, Ohio. Here is Dustin Kablinger. There we go. And next is opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the U.S. flag, red, white, and blue. He weighed in officially 164 pounds in this, his professional debut from Cleveland, Ohio. Here is a 2012 U.S. Olympian, Terrell Gauthier. Chief second, boxer. Chief second, boxer. Left hand. Gentlemen, we've gone through the rules in the dressing room. Remind you, protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner. So here we go. What is, in fact, as we take a look at the numbers. Wow. Uh, and five days notice. Capital comes in 165 and a half. As Barry alluded to, Kim, he was much lighter earlier in his career. A lot of weightlifting has put weight on. Gachet plans to drop down to middleweight. He'll be a 160 pounder. Ready? All right, so here Ready? we go. Uh, the national television oh. debut of Gachet. He has, as we said, had seven quasi professional fights in which he's five and two. Kaplinger, a guy who is uh, looking for his first win in a long time. And I think since Gache already got exposed to the World Series of Boxing and he knows about the pros, I think it's just a matter of uh, how long he wants to let this stop, fight stop. go. You know, how hard does he want to work? Well, my guess is he's not going to want to let it go too far if he can. Go, box. Says a heavy handed puncher. All right, stop, stop. Come on, guys, watch the wrestling. Let's go. Box. Kaplinger, another guy, fought in a cage and doing a little bit of wrestling here. Draws a warning from referee go, Taylor. He's a muscular. His arms are huge, Kaplinger. That's not a knockdown. No knockdown. And usually when you see fighters like Kaplinger with arms like that, they generally don't throw very straight punches. Stop, stop. Isn't that funny? You don't get style points for... What a great body you have in the sport of boxing. That's for sure. Let him go, Justin. Gachet, quiet early in this first round. Good body shot there by Gachet. And this is more wrestling match and boxing match so far. Well, that's part of the adjustment. I mean, in the amateurs, uh, Coppinger would have been worn four times already. He probably would have gotten disqualified. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what pro guys do. Especially survivors. Gache needs to keep him at the end of that jab. He's got long arms and he's an explosive power puncher, so just keep him at the end. Keep him at bay and let him come in. You know, you can't miss him. You're right, he needs punching room, Raul, because uh, Coplinger already grabbing, trying to grab every time he can. Now look at him, he's there coming he straight is, yeah. in. Maybe change it up with some uppercuts when he's coming in. It's been a little bit wild so far, has uh, Gachet. But again, that's first fight nerves. There was a good right hand. And Kaplinger in big trouble. And down he goes to the back of the head, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Justin, come here. You ready to go? All right, can you go? Protect yourself and gush up and say, Fox! Did start with a very good right hand, is what turned Kaplinger. Again, a good right hand. Gachet doing the right thing, going through the body quite a bit this round. Didn't take him long to realize that was the way to go. That's been the order of the night. Stop, stop, stop. End of the first stop. round. Good work, good work. Working good, right? All right, but like double jab, straight right hand, left up. So right hand, he going over to that side, right? Little jab up, right, your, your right hand up, all right? And hook off of, right? You catch him every down time, right? If that third right hand, lean that way, up a hand, right? All right, you feel me? 
Don't leave with the with uppercut, right? Never Take a look at action from round one. Now, watch the right hand right inside the ear, and watch as he stumbles. Kaplinger turns, and that's why the punch hit him in the back of the head. I don't think that was a foul, because I think Kaplinger was turned because he was so off balance. That's why the punch hit him where it did. Yeah, I agree. And then, you know, them shots right there behind the ear, they really uh, mess up your balance, your equilibrium. And, and you could see when Kaplinger tried to get up, he, did you see his eyes? Uh, kind of funny look, huh? Yeah. A little taser. Fox. Actually, was kind of scary, huh, Barry? Yeah. <laughs> this is round two, and uh, Kaplinger did not come offer come much in round one once Cache got untracked. More body work. Eight of the 19 connects for Gache in round one with to the body. They want Kaplinger inside. He's not really been able to do that very effectively so far in this fight. They certainly don't want him at the end of the jab of Gache. Well, if he wants to survive, he should be inside and grabbing. If he wants to try to win, he should be outside throwing the looping shots and hope he gets lucky. And there it is. <laughs> As advertised. Well, Took looping, a right hand, yeah, though. Looping shots, the only kind he can, can fire. Another short right hand, two of them, Go. and that drops him to a knee. Two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come here. Looks pretty unsteady. You all right? You want to go? Yep. The last one, but Fox. I like the way Gaucher, you know, just keeps his composure. He has no expression in his face. Yeah. He's yeah. taking his time, and, you know, he's not in a rush. Covers up. He knows he's got his stop, opponent stop. hurt. No punch. Straight but he doesn't back. want to rush Straight again back. into go, a wild man with, with a headbutt or an elbow. No, exactly. Uh, there was, he seemed to be a little bit nervous right at the get-go, and that lasted for about a minute. And since that time, absolutely dominant. Let's go, guys. Punch this is one of guys. those fights where if Gache can just get Go his man off him, Kaplinger no no may no just punch. fall over by himself. Fuck. He's exhausted and he's hurt. Yeah, that's it. Down. I can't imagine they're going to go on Three. with this. Four. That's, that's it. it. It's over. Corner. Actually, the doctor went through in the towel. The doctor could stop the fight here in California, and that's what he did. Have a seat. Have a seat. And there was no reason not to, really. Kaplinger not in very good shape. Dominant performance by uh, Terrell Gachet. Did not have an opponent who offered much of resistance. Well, a mixed bag, I'd say, with the Olympians uh, in terms of the opponents. Because yes. some of the opponents came to fight. Others went into survival mode very quickly. But the common theme with all of them, and, and especially the last two fights that we saw with Spence Jr. and Gachet, was the body work. Yeah, very effective, I thought. Yeah, I, I agree that the body work and every one of them we saw, you know, where they who were keeping their composure, just taking their time. They know that this ain't the amateurs anymore, where you got to pity yeah. pat fast and run all over the place. Take a look at our show stats, Steve. <laughs> well, 57%. Yeah. This is also a common theme, the uh, huge power punch numbers for the uh, U.S. Olympians. And uh, 17 body punches out of 41. That's, uh, that's a commitment to body punching by Gache in a fight where that was exactly the way to go. Another look at it here. And uh, I thought, you know, again, Gache very patient. You pointed that out during the fight. Kind of did what he had to do against an outmatched opponent. Nice right hand. He placed that punch very well. It was short. And then later in the round, you know that the referee, uh, that, that was just an accumulation knockdown against an exhausted opponent. And this fight really could have been stopped. Look how close the referee. Now you're going to see the doctor actually stop this fight. Yeah, will come up in the ring. See a towel. Here. Yeah, there it is. Well stopped, I think. And no question about who won this fight from start to finish. And we'll take you once more to Joe Martinez, and we'll make all of this official. Joe? Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes in one minute, 55 seconds. Round number three, referee Thomas Taylor calls a halt to the bout. Your winner by KO victory, Terrell Gachet. So there he is, Terrell Gachet is uh, now actually unofficially 6-2. and two.
quasi officially 1 and 0. <laughs> Call it what you will. He did what he had to do tonight. Yeah, he he uh, he got the knockdown against knockout against an opponent who was all clearly overmatched and uh, really didn't pose any kind of threat. I think really uh, he threw one punch uh, that w that looked threatening an overhand right. And that, that was about it. But you know he he took his time, kept his composure, and when he had him hurt. He knew how to end it, you know, throw a flurry, and you knew when you throw a flurry, the referee's uh, usually going to stop the fight. Yeah, and he wasn't careless. Well, coming up next on Showbox from here in Fantasy Springs in Indio, California, our main event of the evening, Gary Russell Jr., as he takes on Roberto Castaneda.